Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing white trunks with red trim, he is joining us from Modesto, California. He weighed in at 177 and one half pounds. His record stands at four wins, two losses, all four wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the hard-hitting Nate, the Tank Sharp. His opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red, white, and blue trunks, hailing from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He weighed in at 177 and one half pounds. He's a former National Golden Gloves champion tonight, making his professional debut, known as Lord Pretty Calvo, introducing Atif O'Berlton. And referee in charge, now to give instructions, Sharon Sands. Nathan, a T, you received your instructions in the dressing room. I expect a clean fight, obey my commands, protect yourself at all times, touch up, come out at the bell. Might have seen there a second ago, Elberton wearing a t-shirt paying uh, honor to Nazim Richardson. Brother Nazim Richardson, a great trainer out of Philadelphia, recently passed away. Uh, trained Bernard Hopkins for a period of time as well. Just a, an outstanding trainer, good man, Sean Porter. And Oberton will try to uh, try to carry on that Philadelphia legacy out right. in well. the ring. So he's well aware of it. Uh, get a, a decorated amateur. Southpaw, full six foot three. Boy, he looks like uh, the total amateur package, doesn't he, Sean? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Good long, fast jab. And Nate Sharp comes in here. He knows is the opponent, but says, hey, look, he, he's going to come in excited. I'm going to try to let him out there and, and maybe make a mistake. Is Sean, do you remember your pro debut? Would, and is it is it a little harrowing or different? I, I was not excited. It was like, it was just like it is now. It was just another day at the, at the office. And, I, and I'm not downplaying it, but I would think a guy from Philly uh, who's done everything that you can do at an amateur level, I think he'd be settled in enough uh, to be able to perform today. And, you know, he looks he looks right for the job today. Good, good long jab. Stop! Let him out. Yeah, Nate Sharp comes in again, but it, I guess the difference is, Sean, a lot of times you come in and, and Oberton will look at Sharp and say, oh, come on, this guy, this guy's working at a department store, he's a security guy, he's, wor he's working, he's, he's limited, he's, I'm 6'3", he's 5'9", but that's a grown man, you know, yeah. like Nate Sharp's a great, he's 30 years old, he's in the gym, he's strong, he's just been through a little bit more, even though it's only six fights, True. and you can get surprised, can't you? you oh, <laughs> can you? Yeah, you can get surprised, <laughs> especially when you hear that somebody is working, I mean, we alluded to this earlier, when you're doing anything other than boxing, you're not ready to fight, you know, so if anything, I would I would assume that uh, Atif is ready for this debut and didn't care who it was. Could have been somebody coming right off the streets uh, from the convenience store right outside, and he'd still go in there and perform the way he should. He has he certainly has that Antonio Tarver look about him, right, with the dome. Yeah. You know, the kind of the same kind of the same physique too, which is like how you want to be built. You know, six three, one seventy five, and, and tremendous, like wide, wide, a good body shot there by Oberton. Again, yeah. back to the. Body. And that's a guy who's much taller, but look at the size of the shoulders, too, Sean. I mean, just a wingspan on him. Yeah, I mean, you, you look at Sharp, and you're saying, okay, where can't I hit you at, you know? He's <laughs> wide, he's, he's, he's thick, and, and I expect the Teeth to pretty much hit him everywhere he wants to, especially get into the body. I mean, we saw that, that those two body shots, they were pretty effective body shots. Also, this is a four-round fight, so there is not a lot of time to mess about. Uh, you've got to get on there and, and start winning rounds right away. And see this? Berlton has doing that. Yeah, and 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 so Atif is he's creating moments to to get to that body, that straight left to the body, and then he's going to dip under, even though he you wouldn't expect him to. The, the shorter guy being sharp, he's going to dip under and he's going to go to his body and break him down. Stop. Get tangled up here. And again, Sharon Sands, demonstrative, breaks them up. Final 15 seconds of round number one. Pumping out a jab is T. Oberton. Again, he's 22. Seconds, number one light heavyweight in the U.S. for two years. A two-time national Golden Gloves champion. And making his professional debut. Ah. And looking sharp in round number one. Good work by the young man. First professional debut. You know, things are happening faster. And four rounds are fast. 
like so not too much fast anyway <laughs> yeah yeah so not much uh, energy expended there and uh, nate sharp comes out right away firing again nate sharp gonna make a professional statement here and do his best to win you know he knows his role he comes in here he knows as the opponent but he says hey look I, you can throw that a side b stuff uh you know uh, out of the window you know, so he even knows A side, B side. <laughs> he's aware he's B side, Sean. But I love it when a guy first makes his debut. You see a lot of the, the amateur things that he can do. Uh, Nathan comes right at Atif, and Atif, what does he do? Get on his toes, starts using his jab, and starts keeping that range the way he should. And also the the, the check uh, counter right hook. It's it's a it's a counter uh, check hook, and and that's his escape route anytime he gets in trouble. Now Good left hand coming across. Yeah, Olberton able to throw that around. Look at the, the punch stats. 29 to 7. Punches landed, not even close. And it seemed that Olberton too, Sean, you, you tell me, just looks calm in there. It's a calm first round. Mm -hmm. All of the all of the amateur experience you have, you know, it makes you calm, it makes you ready for the for the big moments, you know. And I, I would imagine the TV, you you're from Philly. Uh, lots of great uh, fighters to look up to, amateur and pro from out there. This is what you want. You want to come out here and shine, and that's what he's doing right now. I you love know, the body work. I'm sorry, sorry to cut you off, BK, but I, I no, love the body right. work. Yeah, and it is for given the size discrepancy, you wouldn't expect it. That's why I love it. Very, it's a very, <laughs> it's a very good habit to have. Yeah, that's why it? I love it. Yeah. Because, you know, he's tall, he's long, you don't expect that, and, and he's able to get down and get to Nathan Sharp's body. Oh, that is a good hook to the body, too. And yeah. I took the wind out of yeah, Sharp, one, too. That one got him. <laughs> that drilled him. He has really slowed down. He might even take a knee here. He is hurt. Sharp is hurt and is just trying to recover from that hard body shot to his right side. Well, let's see what, what Atif is going to do. Is Atif, yeah, he's, he oh, knows it's the, the body. body. He knows. Another shot. He knows Sharp is doubling over, trying to get that breath back in. Alberton hard shot again. Sharp doubled over, trying to stay on his feet. He's got a long 40 seconds left in round number two. You know, the, the one thing about the teeth going down that low is he's got a long way to go to get back up, you know. So I don't know if that's something he's going to want to do moving forward against bigger guys who can, who can actually box. Digging in again. He wants to get his man out of here, but Sharp... Uh, it's showing a lot of resolve. Look at him, he's just sucking in that air. He's, he's no, finding he, air out. <laughs> he's taking all the air out of the shrine. <laughs> if Sharp can get through these 15 seconds, he'll buy himself a minute. And that'll do him a world of good. But look, he's pulling the trunks down, just trying to get some air back in. A withering body shot from Atif O'Barrelton. Body shots. <laughs> It was that one, though. Right, there was a number of them building up. But then that one, I think this is it. Sharp. And Sharp, I tell you what, Sean Porter, I, I'm really impressed with him staying on his feet there. A lot of guys, they know, hey, look, I'm the opponent. I did my best. I'll take a knee. Let me get out of here. Nate Sharp does not think that way. No, you can't think that way, man. I, 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 there are guys out there who think that way. Let me. Oh, let come me, on, Sean. I've seen plenty of guys just, think that I know, way. I know. Plenty let me think that way. But, you know, hey, you're talking to a championship caliber fighter. I'm, I, I tend to believe that most of most guys don't want to uh, just sit down. They want their upset. Here's that body shot again. Big hook to the body, left hook to the body, right there to the to the to the liver. That's a debilitating shot, and he's standing up. Oh, there was another, another hard one. shot. Yeah, Sh another. Sharp now doubled over. He's a sitting duck right now. And yeah. He can't go anywhere. Yeah. Staying on, staying on his feet. Sheer will, keeping Nate Sharp on his feet. Yeah, and that's it. it. Yep. Sharon Sands comes in and stops it right there. Perhaps Sharp would able to get out of that, but. He seemed all but done. What do you think of the stoppage, Sean? Uh, you know, I the refs they're 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 in a tough position, just like the judges. You know, I think she's seeing that this guy Sharp is he's outclassed and outmatched. Uh, I wouldn't have stopped stopped it simply because you could see that there's a lot of resistance from Sharp, and that's why uh, I thought it was premature. However, he didn't win around, and he wasn't going to win around. Yeah, it, it felt early, didn't it? It felt early, and yet, was Sharp sitting there just absorbing punishment? Yes, he was. Fight's over. Oberton gets his first pro win. Two of Atif Oberton, and he is all smiles, now 1-0. Gets a stoppage win. And we'll get the uh, official call here. Go back to the ring, and Jimmy Lennon Jr.
Well, fans, we have the time of 48 seconds in round number three. Our referee in charge, Sharon Sands, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of knockout in his professional debut, Lord Pretty Calvo Atif O'Barrelton. Sean Porter, I'll say this, and congratulations to Atif O'Barrelton, who looked great. Nate Sharp, who did his very best. I, I can ask about the decision, and I cannot love it, but I, I don't dislike it either. And I'll say, as you pointed out, Sean, there's a difference, a, a large differential in talent and class, and I use the word sitting duck. Uh, O'Barrelton threw some more withering body shots in that last round that basically had Sharp doubled up and just standing there like a statue in front of O'Barton. So, and it's a, and, and a four-round fight. I totally understand why why Sands would stop that fight. We had 6-3 going to the body of 5-9. That just, you don't see that typically. For him to get to the body the way that he did and stop Sharp in his tracks, she steps in and she says, no more, simply because I get it. It's four rounds. I get it. You're on your feet, but you're not going to beat this guy. He's banging you to the body. This hurts. I can see that it hurts, and I'm going to stop it. I don't want any more of this for you. Oh. She did the right thing. Wow. And then to the end of the fight, again, Sharon Sands, the referee. Hey, it's in your mind if you're a referee. Is this a world championship fight? Is it a 12-rounder, 8-rounder? No, this is a 4-rounder. And you can get this guy out of there. I mean, I, again, I don't disagree. It surprised us at the time, but Nate Sharp would just ta have taken more and